Hey guys, Jim and the Divine Seer here. Okay, this one's for our Geminis, Gemini Collective. Okay, so I'm going to do my spiel, but immediately I was told something about a phoenix, phoenix rising, and I saw lots of fire. And I kept hearing, you might be dealing with a fire sign. Not really sure who I'm touching in with, but I kept seeing lots and lots of fire and like this phoenix rising from the ashes and like coming out and like becoming stronger. So that might be uh, someone <laughs> in this Gemini Collective. Many of you, I hope, uh, because, you know, we have to burn in order for us to rise, right? Uh, I heard that from one of the other readers that I listened to. I forgot who it was, but it really hit me because it's so true. So, all right. I already cleared the space. I was actually uh, going to do the Wizards Tarot, and I did that for the um, Libra reading. And Spirit was like, absolutely not. Do the Gilded. So I'm doing the Gilded Tarot. So like, share, and subscribe to my videos. Hit the notification bell so that you can see any content that comes out. Also, if you want a personal reading with me, I am doing personal readings. So please look in the description box, Jamie the Divine Seer at gmail.com. Okay, so, <clears throat> all right, so here it goes. Okay. All right, that was just interesting how I saw the phoenix. I'm also having a neck pain right here, and I noticed that right when I was actually asking about you Geminis. Interesting, I just, <laughs> I just heard Twisted Sister. I know that's a group. But I, I just heard Twisted Sister. Okay. I don't know what that's about. But okay. Another message from Spirit. Okay. What do my Geminis need to know? Spirit, guys, angels, guidance. Yeah, somebody's definitely got a phoenix going with them, like, as their guide. Very, very significant. It's almost like I'm hearing like you've died a thousand deaths only to bring you to this point. Okay. I'm hearing um someone's someone's been through it. Someone's been through it. All right. This drives me crazy after a while. When I do my lives, this is what happens. I have to take my shocker bracelet off because it hits the table too much. It drives me insane. All right. So far, we have the five of wands. And this could be you fighting your inner self, having conflict with yourself. Um, also, it could be you fighting with someone else. Competition, chaos, conflict, um, instability. Butterflies are on this card. Fighting within yourself because you're transforming. Again, this could be anything. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't resonate with you, don't make it fit. Please don't make it fit. Yeah. It's like you've been fighting for the attention that you deserve. This could be a work environment. This could be work. So far we have fire with the wands, five and six of wands. I'm feeling like there's some sort of, oof, whoa, I'm being brought to the three of wands and I don't know why. Um, five and six is 11. I just said 11. Hairpin came out. I feel like you've been fighting with yourself so much and fighting with, it's almost like you're, thank you, you're resisting, you're resisting something. You're resisting something coming in. And this has to do with a commitment. It could be with a marriage. It could be Engagement, I'm hearing. It could also be uh, spiritually. Some of you may be spiritual leaders. Uh, 
divinely guided, very, very, very divinely chosen. Okay, this is why I keep seeing the phoenix. It's like you had to take this on this lifetime in order for you to see your worth and see your strength and see who you are. We talk about commitment, and I said 11, right? Five and six is 11. This is the 11, 11 card. This could be a twin flame. Fighting for attention from your twin flame. Fighting for attention from, from spirit. Like it's, it's like you feel like spirit maybe... It's definitely, okay, let me, let me go back. <laughs> it's definitely divinely guided. I feel like this fighting led to your victory. Thank you, spirit. This fighting within yourself led to your victory, led to you getting the public recognition that you deserve. It's spiritually guided, but there's a commitment here. There's a commitment to self. Thank you, spirit. But there's also, this has to do with your twin flame. I feel like dragonfly is on this card. Okay. Dragonflies signify healing, taking flight, bunnies, innocence. Okay. I feel like whatever had to, whatever fighting that was done, interesting. I didn't realize Knight of Cups was on the bottom. It's definitely a twin flame. It's definitely a twin flame. Okay. You have been fighting within yourself because you want so badly to get the attention from the one that you love. The one that you've been committed to. I'm hearing many lifetimes. And like, it's coming full circle. It's almost like I feel like something... Some sort of fighting head to end. I don't know if you fought with this person a lot or if you haven't met your twin flame yet, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, twin flames will, some people have them, some people don't. I'm hearing, I'm talking to the, cho the chosen ones, the chosen ones. But this world card is talking about a completion, a cycle ending in order for one to begin. And I notice how I, okay, this is how we're going to do it. It's like this. The world, the hierophant, they're both looking at the twin flame dynamic. Like it's like, this is, this is something big. And the Knight of Cups being on the bottom there's an offer of love. There's an offer of like, there, this is, this is, this is heavy love. I'm hearing how this is no ordinary love from Sade is what I'm hearing. And if I'm touching in with a female male, it doesn't really matter. Queen of Pentacles, the most committed. God, I can't make this up. This is the most committed marrying type queen in the deck, the peacock. She's like, strutting my stuff. I got my beautiful. And she's beautiful. She's beautiful. That's why the peacock is there. Peacocks are absolutely gorgeous, full of colors, all colors of the ray. Okay. And she's got the pentacle. She's stable. She's, thank you, spirit. I'm hearing assertive, but very, um, she could be stern, but she could be very, very, uh, so much compassion, so much empathy, very loyal, very committed, very um, undeniably brave is what spirit's telling me. I was asking spirit what, what else. She's very, um, I'm hearing complicated, but not naive. She's very, very sweet, but she knows she's, she's compassionate and under the deck. <laughs> Again, we have the Knight of Cups and we have the Ten of Cups. I feel like this is a twin flame reunion. This is a twin flame journey um, that's leading into victory. I feel like this is definitely spiritually guided. I feel like this person, who I'm, whoever I'm touching in with, my Geminis, okay? I feel like... I 
I feel like that it's a happy home. Like this, this person is your person for sure. <clears throat> Again, if you felt like, if you felt like your person who you've been committed to has let go of you, they have not. Um, they may feel like a little closed off. They may feel like you're a little closed off, but I don't feel like this is the case. I feel like this person and you have not let go of each other. And I feel like with the pentacles here, it's like it's bringing in this awareness. Thank you, spirit. The hierophant is on top of the four of pentacles. The six of wands on top of the ten of cups. This person has not let go of you. If you're in separation right now, understand that was spiritually guided. There was a reason for it. I'm also hearing that because you've been so committed, because you didn't let this person go, I'm hearing big time that they're coming. They're coming big time. Yeah, see? Right now, it's like they realize that they've been given something from the universe. You also are allowing this to come in. You're allowing this to come in and you're finally being able to receive it with open arms. And it's bringing balance. There was no balance um, in your other relationships. I feel like this one right here is a special, special bond that you have. A bond that is telepathically connected. A bond that is energetically connected. I feel like your dreams are telling you something. So please pay attention to your dreams. Big time. I feel like you may be, I said, you might be dealing with a fire sign, right? You got the King of Wands here, Leo, Aries, Sag. Okay. And this fire sign has made a choice. Look at how much fire is here. Oh my gosh. Wands, 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 wands. There's a lot of fire here. This King of Wands has made a choice. And they're coming. I just keep hearing they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. And I'm hearing it's been a long road. It's been a long road. It's been a long way down. But they finally get it. They finally figured it out. They finally figured who you are. You're their person. Again, page of wands. Coming back in to bring that spark, right? Coming back in to entice you again make you see that they've grown, that they've matured. Even though this is a page, pages are very immature. I feel like this person is coming in to let you know that they have matured and they are willing to put in the work. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, they're seeing, they're seeing that wand being the all, the one. That's the only thing that they want is that wand. Because they see that you know, without you, and look, reunion, <laughs> without you, this is how they feel. And the knives aren't, the swords aren't in the back of him yet. I just saw 1333 on the clock before I said that. Um, they're not, te they're not in the back yet because they have been taken out. It's almost like this person had to come to the understanding of you know, I've gone through so much pain, so much suffering, so much hurt. But this person here, this person wants marriage. <laughs> they want marriage. It's a reunion coming in. Reconciliation, if you're in separation right now. I don't know if you're in separation or if you're in this relationship right now. And look, it's still on the bottom of the deck. And the Knight of Cups keeps coming out. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to pull it out. There's this offer coming in, definitely. They're coming. I just keep hearing they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. But you know what? Like I said before in other readings, time is an illusion. Time is fluid. Take it how you want it. This resonates great. If it doesn't, doesn't. If you believe in twin flames, if you don't believe in twin flames, it really doesn't matter to me. What matters is that I get the message across, okay? And I feel like this. these are beautiful, beautiful cards. And this person that is your twin has literally, literally realized that they let go of all the heartache and all the pain. 
okay? And now that's the sort of truth. They've come to this realization that you are their person. You are the one. They're not in denial anymore. They don't want you to be single. If you're single, they don't want you to be single. They want you to, yes, yeah, still be your carefree self, still be happy, go lucky. And they see, again, with the butterflies, transformed. You have transformed. Whoever I'm touching in with, these Geminis, Gemini Collective, you have transformed so, so much that they've seen you as radiant and beautiful and glowing and purposeful. Thank you, Spirit. They see you as something that I'm hearing they want to take home to the family. They see you as someone they want to give a life to. Yeah, I just... Oh, God, my back is starting to hurt because it's like... I feel like this person has been carrying burdens. <laughs> yeah. They're obsessed with you. They watch you. They've been in contemplation mode. My Merlin card. They've seen the light at the end of the tunnel. They finally come to this realization that you are their person. They have been contemplating it. For so long. And I almost feel like spirit just like knocked him in the head and was like, look, and this is your guide. Was like, look, you need to, you know, you need to make a decision. <laughs> Two of swords. You need to make a decision. Take that blindfold off. Okay. You got the two of wands and the two of swords. Two, two. Partnership. This person's coming to the realization that you are definitely worth fighting for. You're worth fighting for. They want a victory with you. They want to bring this back in. I feel like... I feel like if you're not in separation, this person is going to put a ring on it. I, I really 100% think so but and feel that within my being. But I also know that... This is a really, really strong reading, guys. I might actually pull my twin flame cards. I feel like, again, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. I said you might be dealing with a fire sign. I kept seeing the fire with the phoenix, okay? And she's got the fire and the water. Could be dealing with the water sign, too. Temperance is all about being patient, taking the time out looking at things, reflecting, and on the original card, it's an angel blessing this union. And I feel like you have been so patient. You have taken your time. This person has taken their time too. They finally, finally, and they see how much you've grown and they're obsessed. They're, they're wanting to come out of hiding their emotions. They want to let you know how they feel. It's a strong, strong soul bond that you both have. Strong soul bond. And it's one that can't be broken because I keep hearing like this is really long, 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 long. I'm, I'm hearing lifetimes off of planets, like different planets. And the moon being here, yeah, and see, they have been and regret and remorse, and they've been suffering since you have been separated. They're done with hiding. You could be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces. They're done with hiding. They don't want to hide their feelings anymore. They don't want to. They don't want to make you feel like you're. They don't want you to be in your head about it. They know how much. They love you. Like, they love you so much. Okay, so I really got to pull those twin flame cards because I'm being told to. So, if you are a masculine and you are, which one do I want to do? <laughs> 
Okay. So masculine, do I want to do those or do I want to, which one's spirit? I'm being told to do the blue ones. All right. We'll do those on a separate one. But we're going to do the blue ones. These ones are twin flame mirror dialogue. Okay. For the both of you. Because I do feel like you're both feeling this. And this person has been coming. Thank you, spirit. This person has been coming in your dreams. It's like spirit is pushing them. Pushing them to connect with you. You've been telepathically connecting with each other. Energetically connecting with each other. You may not be physically in union right now. But union is coming. It's coming. And... I know, I know whoever's watching this, whoever's understanding this, whoever's listening, it gets so frustrating when you hear communications coming, when you hear they're coming, they're, you know, all this other stuff. I get that. But like I said, time is fluid. You never know when it's going to happen. So don't rush it. Don't focus on it. Just let it come. Because I'm telling you, the more you focus on it, the more you're going to repel it. You don't want to do that. It's a law of attraction. All right. What are you both telling each other? This is secret messages from your person. Male or female does not matter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. See? I feel heartbroken. I'm not ignoring you. I'm thinking about our connection that they've been thinking. What did I say? They have been literally thinking and contemplating about this the whole time. They're trying to figure out how they're going to come back and talk to you. I feel like for some of you, it's been months, like long time, like six months. I'm hearing seven months. Oh, my phone just keeps see. Oh, it keeps going off. I'm working on myself. I'm worried about you moving on. I don't feel good enough for you. They've been dealing with a lot of, and they want you to chase them. Runner chaser here. <laughs> I really miss you. Yeah, I've been, I've been touching in with that. They're really obsessing over you, really missing, missing you. They've been feeling like, um, They've been feeling like you abandoned them. Like they're, they're, they're saying, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. I keep hearing that. Don't give up on me. I hope your feelings haven't changed is what I'm hearing. They've been dealing with some insecurities. That's why they're working on themselves. Trying to heal old wounds. Okay. I want three more cards, Spirit, please. Cards. This is definitely a twin flame union about to happen. I don't know how to have a healthy relationship. See, that's the problem. They know you're their person. They're being guided to you. This is a twin flame thing, okay? I don't know how many times I have to say that, and it's annoying, and I'm sorry. But, but they're working on themselves. They have insecurities, and it's weighing on them because they haven't had an, a healthy relationship. Because of the fact that they have had so much heartache and they didn't work on themselves before. And now they're working on themselves because they don't want to mess this up again. I regret what I said to you. Exactly. This person could have made you feel like it was your fault, but it wasn't. The separation, whatever happened. Yeah, they, they met their match when they met you. It was like their heart, like it was almost like a, a rope was pulled and tugged on their heart the minute they met you. I want to return to you. Okay, a couple more. If I'm being drawn to <clears throat> pick a couple more. Yeah, I just feel like you have been working on yourself so much and becoming this beautiful, beautiful maiden. Thank you, spirit. I know I have father issues. They could have father issues big time. They could have mother issues. Please give me another chance. And I'm trying to understand. And I have control issues. Oh, what did I just say? And I know I have mother issues. I said they could have mother issues too. Okay, so here's the deal. And I feel like I'm losing you, see? 
and I ran away from myself, not you. Okay, so here's the deal. I am hearing to hold on. I'm hearing not to give up on them. Now you could do whatever you want. I would never say to go back into a relationship that was very abusive emotionally or physically or any sexually, anything like that. I would never, ever, ever say that. Okay. You choose. This is your choice. This is your free will. <clears throat> I will, however, say this person has been longing for you. They have been wanting you. They have been constantly thinking about you. It's like no, no matter what they do, no matter where they're at, you are on their mind. They know. I keep hearing, I know I fucked up. I know I fucked up. That's what I keep hearing. And they know that they did. They, it, it was almost like they felt like they were forced in a way to separate from you. It's like they needed this break. They felt this force. It was like they felt like they were doing the right thing, but they weren't doing the right thing. It was really, really, um, it weighed heavy on them. And what I'm feeling it with this twin flame journey, this journey is no joke. <laughs> it is no joke. It is extremely painful. It is, but it is rewarding in the end because you learn how much to love yourself. It's about loving yourself. And this person has to go through that too. You've come to the point where you've transformed, right? Your nine of pentacles. All you need is one more pentacle and that's your love. Okay. And they miss your love. Thank you, spirit. They miss your love. They miss everything about you. They miss your smile, your smell. They miss your hair. They miss your eyes. They miss, they miss your lips on theirs. They miss just being around you and just hugging you. Like hugging was like a huge thing for you guys, whoever I'm touching in with. And I feel like this person is really, they're going through it. They're going through it. Don't think they're not. And if you want another chance with your twin flame, just trust me, they're, they're talking to you. Pay attention to that. <clears throat> yeah, they have a lot of things to work out. This could take a couple years. You guys might have been separated for a while. And like I said, like, work on you. Do you? Don't focus on them. Okay, don't focus on them. You need to do you and do what makes you happy. Because by you healing, it helps them heal too. Wow. Wow, I didn't expect this for Gemini's. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be a twin flame reading at all, to be honest. But I felt it. Spirit came through and boom. Boom. Done. Hang in there. Okay. <clears throat> like, share, subscribe to my channel, please. And if you want a personal reading with me, description box. Jamie the Divine Seer at gmail.com. I am donation only. So. Wow. This was beautiful. This was beautiful. All right, Gemini's. Hit that notification bell so you can see my content every time it comes out. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Bye now.